Well, hey, you know this story in God's Word. God chose a young man named Gideon to lead the Israeli army against the Midianites. But Gideon was afraid and hiding. An angel came to him and said, The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. But Gideon responded by describing himself as the least in his family who were part of the weakest clan in Manasseh. Here is what the Lord is saying. God was saying, Gideon, come out from under the fear, the insecurity, and the defeated mindset that is stunting your growth and your effectiveness in God's kingdom. This is what I want to call a destiny moment for Gideon. Right here, Gideon made the decision to take a step of faith and believe he was who God said he was, not what he thought of himself. When Gideon saw himself the way God saw him, God breathed on his life in a new way and empowered him with a courage he never felt. He went on to be a mighty hero and defeated the Midianites. Listen, the enemy would love for you to live afraid, to live in spiritual hiding, and to live in a defeated mindset. The enemy would love for you to focus on yourself and not on God. What we need to realize is seeing ourselves as not good enough, not gifted enough, and not worthy enough is actually a form of self-righteousness. The, I'm just a poor old sinner saved by grace attitude focuses on ourselves and not on God. Today can be a destiny moment for you. God is saying to you this, mighty warrior, it's time for you to step up and be who God created you to be. When you make that choice, God is going to empower your life and you're going to see favor, courage, and opportunities like you've never experienced. But remember, faith is not looking at the natural, but looking at the spiritual. In the natural, none of us are good enough. None of us are gifted enough. And none of us are worthy enough to be a warrior in God's kingdom. But when we step out in faith and receive God's vision and God's calling on our lives, when we see ourselves as God sees us, we step into the destiny that God has planned for us. Will you join me in that? God bless you.